back. I'm about to be saved by an altogether different kind of lifeguard, a hairy one. They're called the St Bernards of the Sea, Newfoundland dogs, which seem just as at home in the water as they are on land. It's claimed pound for pound that they're stronger than any other animal in the world. They weigh an incredible 14 stone and are buoyant in more ways than one. Basically, they've got a long historic tradition of uh, saving people in the sea and whatever. And the reason they've gained that is the fact that the island they come from, Newfoundland, is a very bleak and austere place. So a dog to survive in that sort of climate obviously has to have a thick coat. So the Newfoundlands have got a double coat, which protects them from the weather and the elements. It also helps them to swim very well because the double coat actually acts like a wetsuit. It traps a layer of air in between the fur and the skin, so they never actually get wet right the way through to the skin. There's also an oily base to the coat, and as you know, oil floats, so that gives them uh, a buoyancy in the water. These children at the Cotswold Water Park are all volunteers. When they're not being pulled out of the water by the dogs, they're learning how to help swimmers in distress with the aid of the dogs. It's the strength, I think, is, is the amazing thing about the dogs. I mean, if you actually get in the water and actually feel the dogs pulling you or pulling people or boats or whatever, it's the strength that is the most, you know, and that's not necessarily coupled with the weight of the dog. It's just the sheer strength of the dog that's important. <laughs> Like being rescued by a dog, is it quite scary when you see these big animals coming towards you? Um, at first it is, but then you know that they're here to help you, not to scare you. How amazed are you by the fact that they can tow people, not just children, but adults quite as well? Quite amazed. They've got web feet. That's one thing that they can, that they've got, and that helps them swim. They've got webbed feet? Yeah. What, like ducks? Yeah, because it's in between. Oh, right, skin in between their toes? Yeah. Over 650 people drown in the UK each year, most of them children who stray into water unexpectedly. All the young people taking part today are learning about the dangers of water, how to place safely near it and how to rescue. Well, it's really good because you're just on the boat and you can see this person drowning because you're just standing there waiting to jump in. And you jump in, you jump in exactly the same time as the dog and the dog will go and rescue the, the person and you just got to swim in beside and it's really good to know you're helping someone. The Newfound Society has raised over £135,000 for various children's charities. Fundraising is a major concern for David, but the dogs also have a high therapeutic value. We get involved with the children's hospice in Barnstable where the dogs go and visit the kids and obviously just put a different situation to the families, the children. They're an icebreaker in as much as that, you know, it's, it's just another thing that, 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 that comes in that, that, that takes people's minds off of their situation and, and involvement. The dogs also have done lots of fundraising for children's charities and in particular at hospice again, which we think is very important. So yeah, we've got a strong connection with children. For further information about any of the items in today's programme, we'll give you the details later. One very cute and 